Hello, people who cannot sit at home. So happy that you're here. So today I have an amazing video for you. It's all about animal experiences in Ontario. And to be exact, there are 13 of them. They're all very different. And all of them I have been to, I have loved, and I know you're going to enjoy them as well. Also, down below, comment what is your favorite animal experience in Ontario, if there is something that I haven't actually uh, covered. And before we go on, I want to talk to you about my Ontario Road Trip Journals. Those are really great, fun journals for, uh, there's one for spring and summer and another one for fall and winter. And another one is coming out very shortly. It's about weekend getaways. And I also have a road trip art journal where you can do artsy things on the trips. Of course, everything is going to be linked down below. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first experience that I want to talk to you about is going to be Riverview Zoo, which is located in Peterborough. Over here you can see the map in relation to Toronto. It is, I would say, about an hour and a half drive from Toronto, depending on the traffic. So one of the coolest things about the zoo is that, first of all, it is fairly large, and second of all, it is actually free. It's very few zoos that are still free of charge, and uh, that, that's amazing. But, of course, they do accept donations. And over here, one of the highlights, in my opinion, were the otters. So they have this kind of area where they get to go up top and they get to dive. There were three of them and they were very active, especially they got even more active when the food was involved. They do get fed at 1.30 and 4 o'clock and they also get fed in the morning. So anyway, the gentleman came out with the fish and these guys that were already pretty active uh, got even more crazy. The zoomies were happening for sure. My camera was having a very hard time trying to capture these guys. They were very, very fast. So the zoo has a number of animals. Over here are the two emus. I'm definitely fascinated by these big birds. In the cage nearby, they had gorgeous peacocks. So I think there were two ladies and one gentleman. We were hoping that he would do the whole exposure of the feathers, but I think he was just cleaning himself. But it was still really cool to see. Really enjoyed checking out this python. The size of it was ridiculous. And on the other side over here, I'm trying to show you the head. The head was also huge. And over here are the cute little alpacas. I love how the tail is wagging occasionally. They seem to be more interested in food than us. And over here is a beautiful lynx. Riverview Zoo also has a kind of area where you can go and check out the river. And they also have tons of spaces for kids to play around. Sort of like kids playgrounds. And they have a number of picnic tables for you to have the picnic. So for the second experience, I want to talk about a Airbnb experience. So the way you do this is you go on Airbnb and you select experiences over there at the top. You select Utopia Ontario. This is where this farm is located. And at the bottom you can see the map so that you can roughly see where they are located. You will only be given the address once you book the actual experience. Aww. So this is located in Utopia Ontario, which is about an hour to hour 15 from Toronto if you drive kind of closest to Barrie. Why is the chicken in the way? It's bread, it's yummy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Who was the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> the chicken has character! Hey, hey, piglet! Piglet! <laughs> you actually can take your own food. Uh, with you. They do give you some food, but you can take if you have any stale bread or if you have any apples or any other kind of vegetables to feed the pigs, to feed the goats. Over here we're feeding the pig. The pig was so adorable. And by the way, absolutely everybody in this farm are ridiculously adorable. Uh, the goats are all kind of miniature. I don't think they're babies, but they're just very small in size. They're so cute. So this is Bubbles. Bubbles is an amazing, very, very calm, good boy. And we were there to brush him and make sure that, because right now he's shedding in springtime and he is shedding insane amount. Oh my God. Oh, let's no. see. Okay, I'm ready to be pooped on. So over here are the chicks, they're also very adorable. When you reach down, they they just come up to you and you can take one of them very gently. The opportunity presented itself to take a selfie with a chicken itself and I was very excited. As long as you hold their wings, they will be pretty calm. 
The horses were also ridiculously amazing outside. I think they have 13 horses right now. And there's also, I think, about three ponies. Here is the smaller cow. She's a, This is a miniature cow, and there's a full-sized kind of larger cow. And, of course, the cats, more cats. So that was insanely amazing experience. Everything about it was great. It was $20 and it was worth every penny. Next up is a very fun donkey experience. Not sure about you, but I actually haven't had too much exposure with donkeys and doing this was so much fun for me. So this is again Airbnb experience. When you select the experiences on Airbnb tab and start typing donkey and alpaca experience, this is gonna pop up. They are located in Chatsworth, Ontario, which is about two hours to three hours drive, but it's such a cool thing. And over here you can see the total cuteness overload. There was a baby donkey when I was there. This was a couple of summers ago. The mama donkey was kind of walking around protecting the baby, but they were all so incredibly friendly. They wanted interaction from us. They came close. We were given brushes. We got to brush them. They loved it. <laughs> it was so, so much fun. And here's me brushing the baby. It was, it was just so adorable. As I understand right now, these same guys have alpacas as well. I, I was not there when they had the alpacas, or I just didn't experience that. I'm not sure. Uh, so check out their alpac alpacas too, and let me know if that's good, because the host lady was so lovely. I'm sure it's an amazing experience as well. There because this is a quite a drive from Toronto. We actually stayed over in that area. There is Sable Beach over there. There are so many beautiful places you can stay at, so definitely a great road trip. And here's another absolutely amazing Airbnb experience. So the way you book it is the exact same way. You go on Airbnb, you click on experience, you select your dates. These guys, I believe, are only on the weekends. So they are located in Little Britain, which, as I remember, about an hour and a half from Toronto. So they're not that far. And over here, I'm showing you how their posting looks like. You do need to pre-book, so make sure to book. And only then you will get the exact address. So we booked this experience and they do it usually I think on the weekends and it's $25 per person but it was amazing and it was so much worth it. First we got to see all of these number of animals. There was an alpaca, there were goat, there was a pig that was kind of chasing everybody around. And the thing about this place is that this is actually a lot of them are rescue animals which is amazing that you get to see where they are and your $25 do help uh, with kind of helping care for these animals. And uh, there's of course a lot of horses because this is a equestrian school also and the horses are beautiful. This one over here, I swear this looked like a moose. It was so tall, very beautiful, very calm. You do get to, uh, there's a, there was a gentleman with us, he had the feed, so at first he gave us the feed for the horses. So, they are very gentle, gentle giants for sure. And uh, the gentleman was talking to us about their histories or where they came from. A lot of them were either maybe like if somebody maybe had a horse but wasn't able to take care of them. So they were given, uh, they given the horse to them. Over here we got the uh, carrots and we went to the cow area and the cows were so adorable. Oh. Uh... <laughs> and then we came upon the turkey the turkey was hilarious it kept on flaring it kept on like fanning and being huge he was kind of uh, fighting a little bit with the dog chasing the dog it was also pretty funny to see their interaction here's a gorgeous blonde horse there's something about being near the animals that just puts you in the good spirits and you get to touch them and you get to feed them and it was amazing and I highly, highly recommend this experience. Up next we have a really fun conservation area. So this is called Ken Reed Conservation Area. It is about, I would say, two hours from Toronto. They're in Kawartha Lakes and they are known for their bird feeding, their chickadees bird feeding. So over here, this is where we park the P sign and the gray thing, that's the boardwalk that we're going to head to. But before we, basically as soon as we parked, it's $4 for a day, in the winter time at least. We checked out this beautiful view, it's right there by the parking. The way you pay for the parking is through an app, 
So you have to download an app and just get your information. And it was actually pretty easy. So now we're heading for the boardwalk because I have heard that you can feed chickadees over here. And first of all, the boardwalk is really pretty. And then you see people feeding the chickadees. We only had a little bit of the bird feed, but we did have peanuts and we were surprised that they actually really love the peanuts. In fact, they would eat them more than the bird feed we brought. Up next, we have the Toronto Zoo. I really love Toronto Zoo. I try to go about every year or every other year and most of the time I go in the winter. Over here, I'm just showing you where it is. It's sort of in Scarborough. It's about 40 minutes from Toronto, maybe an hour. So here's the map. It is, of course, very huge. And of course, there are more things open in the summer versus winter. But I think in the winter, there's less people. The price is a little less expensive. I think it was about $25 per person. And I don't know, it's just you get to go inside, you go, you get to go out outdoors. It's a really nice winter activity. Over here are some gorgeous giraffes. The other two kind of turn away from us, but it's okay. And the good thing about zoo is that there is no need to book. We just showed up, but I do have to say parking is $15. So that's a bit on the expensive side. So try to carpool. <laughs> and here are some really adorable penguins. This is definitely one of those road trips that you can spend a whole day at. So the next ridiculously fun animal experience is Muskoka Goat Away. They're located in Huntsville, which is about two and a half hours to three hours north of Toronto. But trust me, if you have never walked a goat, you need to experience this. So essentially it's one hour experience where you get to walk the goats in a very lovely shaded Muskoka forest. The lady who runs this experience is so lovely and the goats are so much fun. They are really food driven. So as long as you have, you know, food in front of them, they will go forward. They are hilarious. It's just such a shot of adrenaline. You have to try this out. And, and as I follow them on social media, I know that these experiences run any time of the year. And they're only about 20 to 30 dollars per person. Another amazing experience is Karma Farms. They are located in Markham, which is about an hour and a half from Toronto. So this is a feeding and petting farm. So what happens is you go inside of their marketplace and for five dollars you get a bucket of carrots and you get to go around. They have a whole bunch of animals. They have the most adorable pigs. Oh my gosh, they have so many animals and you get to feed them with those carrots. And at the bottom of that jar, there's also some corn for the goats. So the animals are not open during the winter. So make sure to go on their Instagram account. That's where they tell you when the animals are open. And also on their Instagram, they will tell you when are their babies are born. So that you get to see some babies. Insanely adorable farm experience, very close to the city. You have to check it out. The ninth experience is Sammy Alpaca Farm and Fiber Studio. So this is located, I would say about three hours uh, west of Toronto and over here I'm showing you where they are. Ruben! So this is an alpaca farm with about 20 to 30 alpacas and there's even one llama. You do need to pre-book your walk but it's the most adorable walk. It's about an hour so you get one alpaca and you go for a walk with it. It's really adorable, perfect picture opportunity. You can also stay with these guys because they do have a um, Airbnb accommodation, which is what we did before. Lovely stay, kind of like a bunky style. Who runs this is very lovely. She will tell you all about her very, very much beloved alpacas. This farm is that I think right now in May, here, the gonna... coat, the winter coat, which is such a fun experience. Yeah. I'm going to about... put the link to their website down below for the for that information. Up next is absolutely amazing experience of Bird Kingdom. So this is located in Niagara Falls. And this is something I always pass by, but I never really experienced. But once I got in there, it's an absolute must visit. Wow. Can we say hello? Good job. Where are you pretty lady? Okay, we gotta we have to fist bump first and then we'll blow it up. Right? Yeah, that's what oh, we wow. <laughs> Are you a sweet boy? No way. No way. Yeah, see, he knows. <laughs> and roughly the admission is about $20, $25. It's almost like a spiral staircase of maybe three floors with tons of greenery. You feel like you're in tropics. You feel like maybe you're in Thailand. It's uh, lots of birds and they fly around free. And it's just you literally immersed and they kind of freely walk around. We enjoyed it so much. It was so much fun.
What we also saw is that at certain times there are bird feedings, so the employee of Bird Kingdom would come in and you can also go in and you can feed the birds and the birds kind of sit on you and, and you're pretty much interacting with the birds. These red guys were so much fun, they almost looked unreal because of their coloring, but I would not suggest coming close to them because uh, they, they, they did not like that. <laughs> this guy got some worms and he was eating them. Have a nice lunch. It was such an amazing experience. Definitely recommend this. Definitely a hidden gem and really well done. Really nice birds and really nice employees. Up next we have the Sweet Acres Pigs Sanctuary. So this is located north of Toronto. Over here I'm just showing you where they are. I would say it's about an hour drive. We did email before coming in just to make sure that it's okay. And I'm gonna link down below their website. So what this is, is it's a sanctuary of different pigs and they all definitely have their personality and uh, they kind of roam around sometimes they are in cages but sometimes they're let outside and you get to interact with them and the lady who runs this place is very lovely she did not ask anything for the entry fee but we did give a donation to help the pigs i love this experience so very much so this is an utterly ridiculous farm life and this is picnic with alpaca because there's food involved this is a bit on the pricier side i think it was about either 50 or 60 dollars per person and it's located closer to kitchener about two hours drive so what you do for this experience is, of course, you book it online before going in there. Over here we had a sneak peek to the goat yoga, which I thought was hilarious and I definitely want to go and do this, uh, hopefully someday. So we waited for our time and over here we're walking towards our picnic area. And over here we are sitting down at our picnic areas and the alpacas are over in front of us basically. So these are male alpacas. I think we had about eight of them in our picnic area but they are very gentle they do not they kind of eat their own hay and they do not really interfere i was afraid that my picnic would be eaten by alpacas but they are totally hands off uh, for the picnic itself we got an upgraded version of the picnic it had lots of things it actually had some amazing food items different cheeses different meats there's uh snacks there was even a sparkling cider honestly amazing and all of the cutlery and the plates and the cups they were all provided by cheryl and by utterly ridiculous farm life so over here we are eating enjoying our picnic and here's a closer look at what we are eating and over here me chewing i'm sorry but it was so much fun <laughs> and for dessert we got ice cream which was amazing so the picnic actually comes with snacks for alpacas, which is essentially their feed, and you can feed them off of your hand if you wish to do so. It was so much fun, just enjoyable. They do not bite. They actually do not have top teeth, so they kind of can't really bite that hard to begin with. I highly enjoyed this experience, all of the elements of it, the way it was organized, the way Cheryl was explaining everything, and you can clearly see that she loves uh, her animal. And last but not least amazing animal experience is the willow tree farm so this is a farm that is located closer to port perry about an hour and a half drive from toronto and it it is a market but outside they have just animals it's totally free you get to see goats you get to see bunnies and there are also some chickens it's a smaller farm but it's definitely a lovely farm inside you can also get a number of baked goods you can get a bunch of food and farm fresh foods they also have iced coffee. It's a, almost like a whole experience. And I really like visiting this. I really farm. hope you enjoyed all of these animal experiences. I know I have. I'm going to link somewhere over here a couple of more really inspirational videos about road trips in Ontario. And of course, please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my videos. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.